Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you walkthrough to the GUI of JMeter application. So when you launch JMeter, you will find these two elements, test plan and workbench. Test plan is where you will find that the elements that you need to add in your test you can give it a new name also add the comments related to it you can add these comments here and whenever you add some comment make sure that it is relevant to your test plan then you have its user defined variables when you add those variables here can just click on add and new row will be added here to which you can give name and value you can also do this okay then you can instruct your test plan to run thread groups at the same time if you are running in a functional test mode you can check this also you can add the library or class path the jar file should be located using this dialog box dot jar files okay you can delete and clear as well now let's take a look at the test plan menu now go to the left left hand side sidebar and right click on test plan you'll find this menu offering you add paste reset ui open merge save selection same node as image save screen as image disable and help so you get a built-in help here okay it will take some time for that window to come and inside window you will find help related to JMeter this is basically a documentation entire application is part of this swing UI that is why it doesn't call any external browser okay coming back to our test plan menu right click and then click on add again add any config element like let's say cookie manager or cache manager now you have added that element inside the test plan you can save it this selection and the file will be saved as .gmx file which you can later open as well in any other new test plan you can also remove the elements by clicking on right clicking on the element and then locating the main option remove you can also disable that so it won't run as a part of thread group click on remove ok it will be removed now let's take a look at workbench this is the place where you can find the options for storing test elements for temporary reasons Workbench and test plan has no relation at all. So whatever you will do within workbench has nothing to do with your test plan test and the respective elements as both of them are independent. Cont contents of workbench will not be stored. They will be just executed or will be tested 
as you want it to execute your test before you run them simultaneously in your test plan now uh, like I already shown you with the test plan you can do the same here you can add elements like say assertions sampler non-test elements listener let's add bean challenge assertion can give name comments additional scripts files can also remove this assertion if you want to remove the element process it's same just right click and remove it you can also save the elements like I shown you with the test pack it will be stored in .jmx file which you can later open with any other workbench related test as well want to do that just let's do this again and you will get clear on that now if you want to merge with the previous stored jmx file you have to find that and click on open okay, so the process is very simple now each these elements that you add in test plan and workbench will have its own setting okay so here you will find configuration for those elements right hand side so whenever you run a test make sure all the elements in your test have this configuration as per your requirement So also note that you have to save your test plan independent to that of your elements. When you save a test plan, all the elements within your test plan will be saved. When you save an element like this, it will be stored as a JMX file and only the values for that element will be saved. You can have multiple test plans. and you have combination of those test plan with the elements that you want to run common among those tests and you can also make sure that values within those test plans are seen by storing these test plan uh, elements and then saving them and later merging with new test plan so that is like combo of your test plans to achieve a particular result when you want to run a test simply type control r or you can click on run and then start will show a simple box here with the number of tests that are run like say 10 and this number will indicate how many tests out of those 10 run and once the tests are finished you will get the report just make sure that if you have the reporting module installed that it will show you the my charts or any other charts modules that you wanted to run so this was a simple geometry gui introduction i will see you in the next tutorial
with more options related to geometry and we will also go through one and one or more geometry tests so we'll get the idea about how to run and execute the geometry in your tests okay bye